it's me, Tuna. I know it's been a while since we talked, as per usual, <laughs> but uh, I am here in quarantine, as I'm sure many of you guys are, and I thought that this would be the perfect time to not only make some more videos, but to, you know, get to know each other a little better. Today, I would like to give you guys a little bit of a sketchbook tour. I actually just finished my sketchbook, my like latest sketchbook, which I illustrated in from August 2019 until April 2020. This is the little guy in question. It is a moleskin 8.5 by 5.5 inch sketchbook. I generally like to fill these guys up in um, six months rather than the like nine or ten months that it took for me to fill this one, but you know, sometimes art just don't happen. As you can see, I really like to decorate my sketchbooks and have a lot of fun kind of personalizing the outside so that I feel inspired to draw on the inside. I'll definitely try and put in the comments below like who are the illustrators for these stickers. Some of them I don't remember, but uh, I'll just check below. If I do remember, I will write it down there. This sketchbook tour might be a little bit different from sketchbook tours that you've seen in the past, instead of kind of taking you through page by page and explaining what it was that I drew and like why I drew it and stuff like that, I'm going to talk more about my personal experience with having a sketchbook, like my philosophy on how to use a sketchbook and other things like that. If you are interested in getting more of the page by page descriptions, all of my wonderful patrons on Patreon get monthly sketchbook flip throughs that include that more in-depth approach. But thank you guys all for being here, whether this is your first time or your last time, hopefully not your last time, but either way, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, welcome to the top down view. We're gonna turn the cover onto the first page. I'm going to be flipping through these pages at a relatively comfortable pace, um, but if you do want to look at a page a little bit longer than I'm lingering on it, be sure to just press pause and then, yeah, <laughs> you'll be able to take a longer look. I'm going to start by telling you guys a little bit about the tools that I like to use in this sketchbook. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a moleskin 8.5 by 5.5 inch sketchbook. What I really like about moleskin is the size, the spine, and I do enjoy that the pages are a bit of an off-white color rather than a stark white. Something about that just feels a little bit more inviting to me. Primarily what I use in this sketchbook is dry media. The pages aren't super conducive to using things like watercolor, though you will see some watercolor uh, that I attempt to do throughout. The tool that you're going to see me use the most often is the tool that you that creates these sketchy black pen drawings. Now, these are gel pens. I use two different kinds. I use the Pentel Hybrid Technica and the Pilot G-Tech C4. They're pretty like negligible in terms of differences, but sometimes I'm in the mood for one over the other based on kind of like the shape of the pen. <laughs> um, and I use these in lieu of pencil most of the time because there's something about the mark making that using a pen requires you to produce. There's a permanency to the lines that you put down, so you have to be a lot more intentional, and by not relying on an eraser, I can learn to be, to, to basically get my ideas out as clearly as possible, as quickly as possible. You're also gonna see me use some Copic marker and some gouache. Those are my two favorite tools. I feel like they work super well in this sketchbook. Um, the Copic does bleed onto the pages beneath, so I'll usually keep a spare piece of paper on hand just to tuck it underneath so that I don't end up marring the next page because these are not uh, cheap sketchbooks, so I do wanna be able to utilize as much of the pages as possible. As we're a few pages in now, you can probably tell that I have a very chaotic approach to how I use my sketchbook. There seems to be some discussion amongst the art community as to how to use a sketchbook exactly. And my philosophy has always just been to use it however I feel like I want to at any given time. I generally only have one sketchbook on the go, so it ends up being both my sort of like planning of compositions, um, doing concept drawings for larger illustrations, and on the flip side, I end up doing my studies in here, so you'll see like some life drawing and some photo reference paintings. And as well, you'll find that I do more completed illustrations. And part of the reason that I do those completed illustrations inside my sketchbook is that I have no intention of ever selling them as, like, you know, a piece of art, so it's much easier for me to collect all of my work in one place, hence doing it in my sketchbook. Plus, I think it just creates this amazing collage of all of the different types of work that I'm interested in doing over a period of time. I think one of my worst habits when it comes to using my sketchbook is that I tend to rely a little bit too heavily on just getting concepts out of my head. 
So I feel whenever I have an illustration in mind or an idea and I want to document it, what I'll do is I'll jump right into my sketchbook and I will create either a thumbnail sketch or some kind of concept drawing. And you'll see these all throughout the pages that we're flipping through that I, you know, air quotes, intend to create into a larger, more finished illustration. However, I get the same satisfaction of just taking the idea out of my head and putting it on the page that I would get out of like creating the final illustration. So what I end up with is basically a tome filled with ideas that I can look back on when I feel like I actually have the energy or the urge to create like a finished illustration. But what makes it sort of a bad habit is that a lot of those ideas do just end up sitting in the sketchbook and not reaching any sort of completed stage. My sketchbook also sort of doubles as a notebook. I do have um, a, a notebook that's standalone where I will do things like write out ideas for you know, videos that I want to film or take notes during a meeting. But in this sketchbook, I do tend to also jot down notes about ideas again, <laughs> or I make lists of different themes that I might want to explore, or I take notes based on things that I need to do in the future, kind of like creating to-do lists. By not creating barriers between myself and my sketchbook, it makes it really easy for me to comfortably pick it up at any point in time and just put things into it. For me, having a sketchbook that is very precious and where each page is its own beautiful work of art, it's incredibly impressive when I see other illustrators that I admire do that, but it doesn't work for my particular style of creative process. My sketchbook is effectively the me dumping the ideas out of my brain onto the page. Like if you flip through my sketchbook, you're basically looking at the inside of my head at any given point of time. And while it might not be the most beautiful sketchbook in the world, it's very personal and it's very special. And I honestly love my sketchbook for that reason. Going forward into my new sketchbook that I just started this month, I think, I want to carry forward that sense of exploration and that sense of fearlessness. I am excited to use a little bit more of a multimedia approach and as well get back into doing more studies, which is something that I love that I didn't necessarily do a ton of in this one. All right, you guys, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me that old thumbs up. Drop a subscribe if you want to find out when I post another video because God knows when that's going to happen. You can find me on a more regular basis on Instagram and Twitter. Links are below. I definitely would love to hear more about what you guys think about using a sketchbook, so leave me a comment. Let me know how you use it. Maybe something that I don't do that I should be doing and you feel very strongly about that. But anyway, until next time, take it easy and keep creating. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.